something that is really to your benefit is a longer prayer. A sitting in the silence of prayer with your eyes closed and thinking about God. A meditation. It is good for you mentally. It is good for you physically. It is good for your soul. I ask you to join me right now in a meditation to increase your happiness. Close your eyes. In Philippians, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. This prayer is sacred and it is a happy time. In preparing for this time of prayer, let us accept the reality that happiness is ours to experience from God. With God's help, I am happy now. Meditate on those words. With God's help, I am happy now. Allow that truth of God to permeate every aspect of your being because that is the reality. That is your reality. You were created by the Creator to experience happiness and you now agree to do so. What a great day to be alive. What a great day to set forth. You anticipate happy happenings this day. You anticipate a day in which you'll feel loved and approved of. You anticipate a day in which you can accomplish your aims and your purposes. A day in which you can use more of your talents and abilities which you have been endowed by God with. Rest in the silence of prayer and begin to create this. Co-create this with God. Create a happy environment for you to live in this day. This very moment, you have faith in God to guide you in all things, in matters of great importance, and in matters that are significant only to the moment. Today, you will expect and accept your good. You are life's expression of joy. You are life's expression of happiness. You are God's gift of joy to God's wonderful world today, and you carry this happiness with you wherever you go, and you give it away. Something that is needed by all, you give away. In all you do, and in whatever experience in which you find yourself, God's overwhelming joy, a wellspring of joy that remains unchanged within you, immeasurable, abiding, and ready for you to give expression to it. You do not allow anything else to take this away. If you have felt down or depressed about some particular thing or situation in your life, this is your opportunity to allow God's help, to allow God's touch to touch it and for happiness to flow through you unblocked. You allow this to happen now, to bless this situation and all that you are concerned about. We pray in Jesus Christ's name that all needs are better and they are met with a spiritual joy in your heart. A joy-filled heart will enable and empower you to look past appearances and places where challenges exist. You take 
this moment now to focus on God instead of the problem in the silence of prayer. As we allow whatever experience or situation to come forth in consciousness so that God can heal it permanently, change it, bless it permanently, we allow God to take control of it so that we can experience true happiness from the freedom that we seek. A joy-filled heart is now inside of us, infilling us, enabling us to look past appearances that have robbed us, past the places where challenges once existed. Many persons and many things in the world contribute to our joy and our happiness, and we focus on these. We are grateful for each one. We also give thanks for the knowledge of God's wellspring of joy that is within us, and for our ability to give expression to it. We look to this day, for yesterday is but a dream and tomorrow is but a vision. Today well lived makes every yesterday a dream of happiness and tomorrow a vision, a God vision of hope and of true sense that we can accomplish with God what we could not accomplish alone. We thank you, God, for a splendid opportunity to rise to a higher level of joyous expression. We are expressions of that happiness right now. We are expressions of joy right now. We continue forward in this Jesus Christ experience, and our hearts are filled with excitement as we know the God truth for ourselves and for this precious moment. We are truly grateful. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray.